joint. So you can see a bit of redness there. That's really good. It's all about blood flow. Blood flow is gonna help clear all that. So just a scoop. These scoops are really good at thinking if there was something that was stuck on your roof gutter. We use this analogy all the time. The gutter of your roof, like a rainy day it is today, that water isn't gonna flow through the gutters and down the downpipe if there's leaves and grass and mold and build up and whatever the hell falls on your roof. Hey yeah, guys, Darcy Ninja here for another YouTube video. Today we're talking about lower back pain and in, the, in particular a condition called spondylitis. It's something I see in a lot of people that are older and it's something that I wanna to talk to you guys about because I think that we can prevent it if you start to get treatment early and we get on top of it and you start to load and move your bodies at your body in ways that, that you're meant to. We see people with spondylitis and, and they come in with their MRI results and these types of things, Ninja included, and mostly it's people that are sedentary. You're sitting down, you're not moving your body, you're not putting load through your joints or your tendons, and you end up with lower back pain, constant lower back pain, and they label themselves to this, I can't do things because I have spondylitis, which is a type of ankylizing arthritis, isn't it? Ninja, is that the isn't other that word? Something to do with your ankle, mate? No, no, it's not anything to do with your ankle. It's something to do with your back. So what, what our, where our treatment differs and what we like to do, clean first, build second. It's a perfect remedy for people with arthritis anywhere in the body, but in particular back, in your back, because it's one of those, uh, well, I guess it's a joint that you can't avoid loading. When we walk, when we run, when we sit, when we stand, we're always using the muscles in our, um, in our um, lower back. So, Ninja, you had a really cool story about a client back in 2001. I'd love you to abbreviate and tell us about mm. that while I just start with some broader warm-up strokes and then we'll get into what I'd like to do. Yeah, it's part of the MMT story and my story is, um, I, yeah, in 2001, I kind of I fixed my own body in a lot of ways, like I, with deadlifts, I fixed my lower back and my own neck, I fixed mm. with my own hands. But um, I remember one particular case where um, was ankylizing spondylolisthesis. This bloke had this label that he spondylitis, not thesis. Remember, thesis is a bit different. A spondylitis. Yeah. Anyway, it was yep. some sort of <laughs> some, something like that. It was in his spine. Yep. I know that much. And then I just sort of had downloaded the principles of what we do today. And um, yeah, what I, what I actually did with this guy was I just dug right in next to his spine, so mm -hmm. really pinned right in deep, and then just held it and held it and held it and then scooped out, mm. very similar to what we do today and what we teach. And this started to fix him and he wasn't getting any relief. He was going to all these, um, you know, specialists around Melbourne. He was trying to, he was playing VFL football at the time. So he was, wow. still had aspirations of playing AFL. So he was young um, and fit. Yep. Yep. So he was only 20 or something like that. Yep. And um, yeah, he... Yeah, what happened was we did a combination of um, this deep body work and uh, the lifting. So mm -hmm. I think my, I can't remember if it was squats or deadlifts that really um, helped him, but it was the the lifting and the treatment combination that um, freed him up, and he was um, playing pain free, where he'd always been really restricted and wasn't getting through games because mm -hmm. of pain and things like that. wasn't able to train and do all the things that he wanted to do to make himself better and be able to perform so it was one of my original fixes you know so I was still fixing people before that but um yeah it was one of the the breakthroughs yeah. with the the newfound treatment where I'd, I'd thrown away the oil bottle and um yeah we starting doing the fascia work only yeah so yeah it was a good story but it's part of our history and yeah here we there are there you go there you go so it was just happened to be that i was talking to ninja about oh, i keep getting clients that come in with these scans and these results and they've got these things and they deem themselves to that and they say you know i can't do much about it i just want some remedy and, and i call bullshit i think look you can prevent it as i said if you live a healthy lifestyle and you move your body and you train and you load your fascia and your joints and your tendons, you can prevent it, that's the best way. Sedentary people are gonna be higher risk of getting arthritis, of course. But um, another way is actually just good body work and cleaning out the tendons and cleaning out the bone. So mostly the bone. So what I'll focus on here, as I've done a little bit of a warm up, which is why I got Ninja to talk. Now I can start, like this thoracolumbar fascia, this junction point here where our S, one and our L5 meet, I wanna start there because that's like the origin side of where our tendons overlap and we have this intersection of, of tendons that, that cover this area. And then I just wanna push into that because it's a nice little money spot. 
right in there, Ninja. Yeah. Yeah. Ninja's been Good. doing some, he did deadlifts <laughs> just last uh, Monday night. So he's still got some DOMs built up from there. But what I'm looking to do is file away the scar tissue, file away the calcified spurs and the build-up. Because basically, there's good calcium and there's bad calcium. We need, we need calcium for bone density and strength and that type of thing. But then there's also this build-up of calcium that ends up um, taking up space and, and, and leaving, I guess, these barnacles and, and like little, little calcified spurs that we feel on our heels or our shoulders or our back. That's what's getting in the way, and that's what needs to be cleared and cleaned cleaned out. So they're like sometimes there's osteophytes, which I guess we call those bone spurs and bone buildups. If we can get good body work in, we're going to prevent that stuff. So what I'm feeling for right there is my thumb is pushing into that spine, right in connecting, and then it's like filing that away. I'm just pushing, and it's like a scoop. So I'm in the money spot, which. You guys are aware of, you know of. I really don't want to use two thumbs because it's sort of um, uh, sh shadowing where I'm trying to treat. But you can just start to see that I've only moved a couple of centimetres, but I'm just working along that bone and really cleaning out that joint, giving that a really nice thorough go through. So pushing into that again, so my direction is this way, and then a nice scoop out and away. And I think... What's really cool about this is that we don't need to rush it. You can just pin and hold and melt away the build-up, the blockages. So the thumb's cool because you can really start to get a good feel of it. The thumb's obviously easier in terms of getting a good um, sensation of where I am in the body. But I actually don't mind using the elbow. Been doing it for long enough now that I can get a good sense of where my elbow needs to be as well. <clears throat> so this is our money spot. <clears throat> Things don't change. We still do the same treatment if you've got chronic lower back pain or you've just got um, standard lower back pain. <laughs> <laughs> a difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it can just be, I was going to say acute, but not so much acute. We sometimes do it for acute, but yeah, just, just general lower back pain or or uh, somebody that's got it for a long time, the treatment doesn't really change. Our philosophies stay the same, our concepts stay the same. Just pin, hold, and clean that out. So for a, a healthy system, we need to stay hydrated. And for us to stay hydrated, our tissues actually need movement. Hydration means movement. If we are stagnant and stuck in one spot, things become solidified and hardened and blocked. If we start to move, that's how our fascia system responds. It's like a recoil system. If we start to move, that <coughs> recoil system, that elasticity, that, that vibration through our joints and our, and our body actually start to respond really well. And we, can, and we can move for years on years on years. And as we go, go through life, we are healthy and, and we have little to no um, illness, disease or, or injuries or pain. Look, there's no such thing as pain-free life. I know a lot of people, we sort of challenge them when they say, I want to be pain-free. It's almost impossible to be completely pain-free. But if we can get them as close to being pain-free in terms of not having something that's just constantly alarm bells ringing because my shoulder's throbbing at night when I get into bed or my hip or my back. If we can get our body in a, in a position or, or a place where it, feels pretty fucking good, yeah. then, then I think we're, we're pretty happy in yeah, yeah. True. True. True that. Correct. True that. So just, just um, get the body work in and move your body. Sedentary. If There's no excuses. If you're office job, truck driver, Uber driver, well, who else sits on their ass too much? <laughs> just people at desks, I suppose, isn't desks. it? Yeah, on the couch. Get up so. every hour or two and do five or ten minutes of something and and once a week deadlift squats get some lunges in in there do some pull-ups just yeah. load your joints that's how our body stays young that's how we stay young and fit we're looking for all these supplements and things to keep our face doing this and our wrinkles and you know hair transplant we're always looking on the outside do what's good for you on the inside as well we don't worry about any of that, do we, Das? Ah, the body's an you instrument, love being not bald. an ornament. <laughs> nah, yeah, bald. Dang. Only good heads are bald. Yeah. Well, apparently. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, well, I'll, I'll agree with you maybe in 20 years if I'm bald. I don't think you're going bald, mate. I hope not. 
Mate, I reckon you could put your eyebrows on my head and yeah. fucking Come, uh, full head of hair, you what do you reckon? You get three haircuts with these eyebrows <laughs> on your head. <laughs> hey, Ninja, give me some feedback. How am I there? Because I'm just pinning that. What, yep. what do you think? Am I, yeah. am I in the right spot for you? Or? Yep. Yeah, probably go, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just angle, change your angles, and then you... So that's important to... Look, we were chit-chatting, but it's important to just have a chat about where do I need to be for Ninja. So back in and spear into that you reckon yep. yeah 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 connect in so right there is a really good spot and for this whole time that i've been blabbing on about health and all things fascia and hydrating yourself we actually haven't changed our treatment we're just pinning and changing angles and, and cleaning and moving that away so i might show you how i can come out of that by just putting uh changing my pressure and working into the QL there as well. It's good. So that's a good spot for Ninja. I know it doesn't look all that nice, but if I just lean over the table and push yeah. into that, I can feel that his QL needs needs this. Yeah. How heavy did you lift Monday night, man? Uh, I did 170 for two. Wow. So that was pretty good for me. Wow. Yeah. It's a bit of a 170 grind. 170 kilos. Yeah. What's that in pounds? Probably 500 pounds. That's what say, <laughs> we'll call it that. Yeah, 500 pounds. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, so there's his QL. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm treating Ninja properly now in terms of what he'd actually need, but I'm just going to show you other ways in how we can work closer to the um, joint. So you can see a bit of redness there. That's really good. It's all about blood flow. Blood flow is going to help clear all that. So what we can do is I like to come... Uh, this side so say I've done L4 and L5 I then want to come up because I then want to come up and work L3 so just a scoop these scoops are really good at thinking if there was something that was stuck on your roof gutter we use this analogy all the time the gutter of your roof like a rainy day it is today that water isn't going to flow through the gutters and down the downpipe if there's leaves and grass and mold and build up and whatever the hell falls on your roof a tennis ball whatever it is if that's stuck there that that water that's now moving through those that gutter system and that plumbing is going to get stuck and really not flow and move there properly and then we end up with an outburst over there going over to the side that's your back pain that's that's your slipping your disc or that's you um uh, irritating irritating your facet joint or something like that you know so if we stay on top of our body work and make sure we have a clean environment for our for our um, cells to move through and our blood to flow through then we're, pro we're, we're probably pretty good we're probably going to be in a pretty good um, um, space for our body to heal and move so that's why it's important to make sure you do this as preventative don't wait for the fucking overflow of water to blow out. Do the do the work when you feel like, oh yeah, I'm getting a bit sore, getting a bit tight, or it's been six weeks, I haven't had a treatment. All right, so just doing some little gouges in and out. Ninja is actually pretty rigid through here today. It's really hard to do with one thumb and show you what it looks like on the camera, but. <sighs> I've had a bit of a sore throat, guys, so I was dealing with turmeric and carrot and orange food yesterday, so that's why my fingers look a bit funny. Um, stained it. Yeah, you, know, you Oompa Loompa? Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so here we're just working a little bit higher, cleaning this out. You guys get the idea. What you can also do is just hit the elbow or the forearm and work along that whole channel. So come down, sink in. Whew, not a good. lot of pressure. I mean, not a lot of wax. Pressure is good, sustained. And then let's see what, what, what I can do working through that with very little wax. So very little wax meaning I can't go fast. I can't skip over things. Got to make sure that that gutter is properly cleaned. You've taken the leaves away, but what about the moss? What about the grime? What about the rust? The rust is probably a good one, actually. Rust is probably what arthritis is in the body. Things rust up when we don't move them, right? Or we don't clean them. Yeah. But you can take that steel back to its original condition, can't you? 
like you can fucking get in there and get the get the steel brush on it and clean it up, mate. You could you could do that to a that's a seventy year old man. That's a that's a car <laughs> that's a car in the built in the sixties or something, you know. And you're getting in there and I can clean it up and you, you, it comes good. Same as your 60, 70 year old guys that come in with this spondylitis that just need a really good treatment. Clean out the rust, but it takes some work. It takes some effort, doesn't it, man? Like you can't just uh, go at it for five minutes with some, I don't know, de-rust stuff. You're actually gonna have to get in there and give it a good old Elbow grease, which is, is what I'm doing here. Exertion is the key. Exertion. You know? Got to do the work. Yeah, Got to connect with the the blocks, yeah. oh, <sighs> the sorry, rust, man. whatever. I'm probably a little bit wide <sighs> now. I probably want to get closer to the spine. <sighs> but I'm trying to get that laminar groove so the space. There's a little groove between our, tran our spinous process of these nodules you feel on your back, our transverse are the ones to the side. You want to be in between your spinous process and um, like your facet. So that's where you're gonna find this laminar groove. That's the gutter, that's your rear. No wax, go slow. All right. Make sure your client's coping. Good. I reckon there's relation with arthritis and food as well. Water, heavy metals, what you're putting in your body. So that's a whole nother topic. We'll do a podcast on that, Ninja. But yeah. oh. the the message today is, if I haven't already said it, clean first, build second. Get the treatment, get in the gym. Yeah. Look after yourself. <laughs> Nothing changes. Rest of your life, hey? The rest of your life. Get treated. Move. Yep. yep. Ah. Really good. And just show you how I can use the ends of my fingers that are covered in <laughs> turmeric and whatever else. So I can like just do these little, like peeling it away. Cause I can just feel that right there on Ninja was probably taking his breath away cause it was just really tight. So push in, I'm using seven or eight fingers there. These last two aren't doing much. And then I'm just like, Pulling that, peeling that away. Peeling that away. Yeah, just go slow, work into it. Try it on your partner. But otherwise, book in with one of us. We're here in Richmond, we're here in Fern Tree Gully. We've got body workers all over the world, certified by us. Because we, we do do things different, we're thorough clean, we treat the bone, clean the rust, really good. All right, so the next thing is load, get in, the, get in the gym, move your body. If this treatment resonates with you, if you've got a partner, a friend, a family member, somebody that's got spondylitis, and you're dealing with back pain, come in, don't label it, don't hold it, to, um, hold, don't let it hold you back, is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> book in, we can fix you up, and um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Das. Thanks, guys. Legend. Done.